And our new segment that we have every Wednesday, WNW and Moms on the Go, is a very popular segment. We're getting so much great feedback from all of you. And so we want to get to know our moms a bit more this morning. All right, so joining me are Lisa Harst, Ali Dar, and Molly Pearson. Now let's go and start with you, Lisa. Tell us a little bit about yourself. About how many kids do you have? Yeah, um, I have two boys. Okay. Um, Colton is two and a half. And my four and a half month old, I time goes so fast. <laughs> four and a half month old Braxton. Yeah. Um, but I work for my house now. I do social media marketing, so it's nice to be able to stay home with them. Oh, absolutely. Um, I know you'll get to their jobs in a minute too, but I know Allie is a stay-at-home mom, so it's nice to like be able to stay home and also work from my house mm -hmm. to be able to incorporate a little of all of that and just make time. You know, I like to cook, so to make time for dinner and just try to get things done around the house. Before, when I worked full time, it's just really hard, as Molly will tell you, to get yeah. anything done at home. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, stressful. Sure. So. Okay, Allie, what about you? Um, I have three little boys, and I stay at home with them. Vincent is three, mm -hmm. Luke just turned two, and Jude is about six months. Oh my goodness, yes. one so after another. <laughs> yeah, there you go. very busy, so I stay at home, and I do photography on the side for families. Mm -hmm. I've seen some of your photos, yeah. they're beautiful. Oh, thank yeah. you. So that's pretty much what I do. Nice, very nice. And you are also, you had mentioned, you're planning on eventually homeschooling your kids. Yes, so I will be doing a lot at home, homeschooling, mm -hmm. and I'm obsessed with organic food. Oh, so, that's yeah. great, that's very good. Very good. a health mom, I like it, yeah. very nice. All right, Molly, what about you? Um, I have uh, two kids, Cora is four, mm -hmm. and Lincoln is two, and I work full time, I own my own business. Oh wow. Um, it's called True Grit Concepts, and we do uh, brand development and marketing communications. Oh my goodness, so, so how, do you, how do you do it all? <laughs> One day I have no time. idea. Yeah, I mean, you know, you definitely have to reevaluate what you do every single day, mm -hmm. and um, you know, you get torn between not being able to be with your kids and right. you know, really spending three to four hours with them a day. Mm -hmm. And you know, at the same time, I really love what I do yeah. and love my company. So it's great. So a really diverse group that we have here, which is great for moms on the go. So many different opinions represented. And what is your guys' overall? Like, what would you say, I'll ask you, Allie, what would you say overall you hope to accomplish for all of the moms out there watching and for all of the parents out there watching? We just want to give um, a site for people to come and talk to us and talk mm -hmm. about their problems, like potty training and going to school and all that fun stuff. And we also want to give back to the community. Um, we have a lot of upcoming stuff that we're going to talk about next segment, yeah. and we're really excited. Great, and it's so important um, to give back, and it's so nice that or moms know that they're not alone, that they right, can just right. seek you guys out. <laughs> right. and any, any type of help yeah. that they need, you guys can help out with. It is time now for more WNWO Moms on the oh. Go. Look at, look at Molly <laughs> fixing her hair. <laughs> she, you look pretty. She's you always look so pretty. All right, joining us are Lisa Harst, Ali Dar, and Molly Pearson. And we are talking this morning, we have gotten so much good feedback about Moms on the Go, our new segment. It's just now been going on for about a month now. And we wanted to actually get to know our moms this morning a little bit more. So let's talk a little bit more about that. Lisa, you have two boys, right? Two boys, yep. Right. Two and a half and almost five months. So just about two years apart, which I think is good. Um, they're, it's so much fun. I work from home, so I'm able to stay home with them a lot, and I love it. Yeah. Um, and it's been fun doing the segment and getting to know everyone here, too. We've had a great time, That's and great. we have a lot of things in the works that we want to do. So. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. Now, Allie, you have three. I have three boys, right. yes. All boys. All oh, boys. Oh, and they are close in age as well. What three are they? Three under three. So oh. three, two, and six months. That's great, though. My brother, my sister, and I, we're very close in age, and we're still close. You know, it's, I think that. Yeah, having they're his best friends, friends so That's far. Great. I love it. Hopefully, That's that'll so stay that way. I have no Hopefully. doubt that it will. And <laughs> you are a stay at home mom. I'm a stay at home mom, okay. yes. And I'm going to homeschool my kids, and I do photography on the side. Great. All right. And her pictures are great. You have to check out her pictures. They are really well. good. Really yeah. nice. Really All right. And Molly, you, are, you actually work and <laughs> a mother of two, correct? Yes. Yeah. You're busy. Um, I am. I have a four-year-old little girl, Cora, and a two-year-old little boy, Lincoln. Okay. So, and then I own my own company, um, you know, work Monday through Friday. Yeah. So this is the perfect panel to have because so many, it's, it's a diverse group of moms which represent all the moms out there. You know, some are right now getting their makeup on, heading out to work. Some Fixing are just, their hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, some are stay-at-home moms as well. So um, we're so glad to have this segment. Now, you guys, um, 
it's important for you to be involved in the community and you want to reach out to moms out there. Let's talk about a charity that you're currently helping. This is a very sad story about a rare skin disease, um, a baby named Easton. Allie, tell me more about that. Um, we don't actually know the mom, mm -hmm. so it's, it's really cool become, to reach out. It's all, yeah, yeah, it's becoming like everybody's taking it over um, as their own charity. And this little baby was born last week with a rare skin disease called EB. I can't really pronounce the mm -hmm. term. Yeah. 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 Um, but it's yeah. a rare skin disorder, and it causes blisters all over his body, mm -hmm. and it's on right now. Right um, his arms are covered because he has blisters all over his body. His parents cannot even touch him. So it like breaks my heart. Um, but anyways, so they opened yeah. a charity and they've raised over sixty thousand dollars for wow. him. Wow! Is yeah. there? In four do days. you guys know of a, a website to go to right now to do that? We have a it, post. It, yeah. yeah. Okay. If there's you'll go to momsandheels.net, there's a post. Um, you guys can share the link on there. Yeah. Yep, it's on there. Okay, and I'll also share. Um, you can see the link right there on the screen, and I'll share oh, that link sweet. on my Facebook page as well. Um, so yeah, any donations can help. I know that the family is struggling financially um, to yeah. obviously want to provide. And it's yeah, not so curable, possible. so keeping him, okay. you know, happy for the days that he's yeah. there. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, ladies, we certainly appreciate it. We're already out of time, but it's so nice to get to know each of you better.